Every small town has its share of ghost stories, but in the Taunton Rehoboth area of southeastern Massachusetts, there seems to be more than enough to fill a book on the subject. And that's just what author Charles Turek Robinson did. His book, The New England Ghost Files, chronicles some truly frightening tales of local encounters with the great beyond. The New England Ghost Files um, evolved out of a local series of articles I was doing uh, pertaining to hauntings in the Rehoboth area. The people telling me these accounts in some cases were very educated people, not, not people prone to superstitious flights of fancy. Uh, again, you could tell they had really been affected by, by something and once they had read my articles, they obviously, uh, they seem to need to, they, they, they seem to have a need to talk to somebody about their own experiences. So those accounts I investigated and eventually I had a, over a three year period, uh, had assembled enough material for a book. One of the most frightening accounts from the book occurred right here. Legend has it that this section of Route 44 on the Rehoboth Seekonk town line is haunted by a mysterious red-headed phantom. Mysterious, and some say malevolent. He's an apparition that appeared uh, supposedly beginning in the 60s. And a gentleman was driving down Route 44. It was late at night, and he suddenly saw, as he was doing 50 miles an hour, on the highway, he suddenly saw the face of a red-headed man, maybe in his 40s or so, uh, very pale, wearing a red plaid shirt, pressed against the passenger side window of his car. He says, while he's doing 50 miles an hour down, down a highway, there's just no explanation for that. Further east on 44 brings you to the city of Taunton, where local historian Charlie Crowley recounts some of the strange tales from that city's past. One of the strangest involves a house situated across the street from an old burial ground. But it had served in the 20s as a sanitarium. And that is the only unusual thing that really happened in the house from a, an official standpoint. But many of the neighbors can recall that there was a lot of mysterious things that happened in the house. Like the, the many of them report a woman who gets up out of the grave in the North Taunton Cemetery, which happens to be right across the street from this house and gets up out of the grave and walks across the street and walks through the front door without opening the door. Uh, and many of the people rec can recount that. Anawan Rock, the site where Native American Chief Anawan surrendered during King Philip's War, is another supposed haunted location in Rehoboth. A well-known historian, colleague of mine, uh, was there with his wife researching uh, the rock, and he, he's a very credible individual. And uh, he recalls being challenged by a, hearing a voice um, about 10 feet to his left in midair. Could see nothing. Uh, and he heard the phrase, Oyatash, Oyatash, which is Algonquin for stand and fight. He was being challenged to a fight, he believes, by an apparition. And his wife found her purse had been dragged by some invisible force. In front. There have been apparitional fires. People have seen campfires at the top of the rock. They go up to investigate. There's no sign anything was burning there. Um, there have been all kinds of phantom sounds, um, phantom cries. A lot, again, a lot of it Native American in nature. Um, even phantom, some people have described to me phantom odors, including the, the, the smell of rotting flesh, human flesh. Finally, Taunton's Mayflower Hills Cemetery has its own ghostly tale. Local legend has it that the apparition of a little girl killed in a house fire can sometimes be seen sitting in a rocking chair monument. And the story is that the young girl was uh, told, not punished if you will, by her mother and told to sit in the corner and don't leave that chair. So she was in a rocking chair in the corner and her mother had to go down to the store and they told, whatever you do, don't leave that chair. So her mother left and during interim, the house caught fire and the little girl never left that chair. The urban legends uh, uh, get uh, carried away with them, but, and, but that's, that's what the, um, the, the spirit of Halloween and uh, uh, people, especially youngsters, their mind runs amok uh, with all the goblins and things like that, and everybody has to tell a greater story than the, the next person. For Chowda, I'm Rick Johnson.